Hi, I'm Bob the Hippie Gardener. If you're a gardener, come on. What we're going to do today is plant some carrots. The easy way. I'll show you how I like to do this. I don't like to thin carrots too much, so what I like to do is I like to plant two rows of carrots close together and then the two rows will shade the ground between the two of them. You won't have to pull so many weeds. So I'll just make a little row and another row real close to it. The soil's nice and loose from the winter. And carrots don't need to be planted very deep. I'm just kind of roughing up the soil just a little bit for them. So, so what I like to do, these are kind of, these are called corral carrots, and they're supposed to be good for carrot juice. So I'm going to try these this year, along with some Easter basket mix radishes. So what I like to do is plant carrots, and then plant radishes intermixed with them to break the ground so it's easy for the carrots to sprout. So that's what we're going to try. So we'll take the carrots. and sow them real thinly. And you don't have to have them very deep at all. So. And so that's enough carrots for a row there. And then what I like to do is make it easy for them to break the soil and sprout. Although, actually on this soil it's pretty easy for them either way, but I like to put some radishes in there. They come up really quickly and you can pull them for an early crop and they help break up the soil for the carrots to come through. So that's something I've always done and it's always worked, so I always do it. You don't need very many of them, about, you know, one every once in a while. It helps mark the rows for you, too. So what I'm going to do is do another row just like that. And as I say, the, the goal is to get them about just wide enough for the carrots to have about an inch or so space between the rows once they're mature. So if you think about the carrots getting about that big around, so you want to have them here. So this other row needs to have a little space so that other row is going to go right here. And when these tops come up, what they're going to do is they're going to shade the ground between the rows so you don't have to do very much weeding, if any. At least that's the plan. So we'll just make this other row and do the same thing again. These seeds are from Baker Creek Seeds. It's a nice place in, in Missouri to get... Um, some heirloom seeds, a very, very uh, large number of varieties. It's a good seed house. Um, we'll have some links down below for you. Let's 
take a little step in here. That ought to be enough. And then we have the radishes. Cover them gently. And again, you don't need very many radishes for this, just enough to kind of mark your rows early because the carrots take a little bit longer to come up and to help the carrots break the soil. So then carrots don't need very much cover at all, so you just need to kind of give them a little little bit of covering, not very much at all. And then you want to remember to mark your rows. So, and that's how you plant carrots.